coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next uh, C++ uh, SDL 2.0 tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to be learning about uh, keyboard states. Uh, so in the last tutorial you could see that when we pressed it, it did a bit of a stutter and um, then it continued moving. So events weren't really meant for uh, continuously getting um, like polling input like that as it said it's their events and so they're triggered when a specific event occurs so it's not meant for continuously registering um, a mouse press or con continuously pressing uh, checking for a keyboard press or something like that that's not what it was designed for it was designed to okay something was triggered do something and so that's why we get that little bit of a stutter because it's expecting a single input and then it loops again and then it realizes you're still pressing it so it continues moving. So to avoid that, uh, we now, uh, we have, we there's there's ways to get around that we're using just events. We don't need to use keyboard states, but keyboard states let make our lives easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a constant uint8 and make that a pointer and we're going to, um, we're going to, name it key state and uh, in order to actually for SDL to actually get the key state values uh, SDL poll event has to be called so make sure it, it comes after the event loop and so we're gonna say okay key state is equal to SDL get keyboard state and then it asks us for the number of keys that we actually want to receive and if we put null it receives all the keys that are currently registers that it actually detects so we're gonna say okay if key state SDL scan code underscore right then we're gonna say player position dot X plus equals move speed times Delta time now why do we use scan code instead of key code where well when it comes to whenever you make controls for a game they're they're made for for sure convenience right you make it so they can use the arrow keys or or was to wasd and you have like the space for jump or shift and shift for sprinting and stuff like that uh because it's for sure convenience for a comfort uh for it makes it very comfortable now uh that's because we have a QWERTY based keyboard right and let's say we had a different style keyboard it's, it's, there's multiple there's m different style of keyboards around this world right and say so they didn't have a QWERTY keyboard and say so you wanted to make it that the Q button was to switch uh, weapons but instead of the Q button being in the top left corner the Q button was at the far right now all of a sudden the mechanics of your game is kind of screwed up and say W was where the I is and A is where the X is and S is where the M is and you know what I mean you wouldn't be able to play it wouldn't be playable for people with other with other keyboard styles so that's where scan code really shines scan code doesn't save the value right so if I said uh, scan code uh, W it doesn't save the value it saves the position of where W is so whether they have any other keyboard format other than QWERTY a QWERTY keyboard no matter what it is no matter what letter or whatever what doesn't matter what command is where the W position is it's going that's what's gonna that's what it's gonna be and so because it saves the position it makes it better it makes it an overall better option to use in the key code version when it comes to um, input controls uh, so we're just gonna do this and I guess we'll just do an else so we can move it back uh, SDL scan code left and we'll say player position dot X minus equals move speed times delta time and uh, when we run this program as you can see there's no delay we move right away left and right right away there's no delay at all so um, that is it for uh, that's it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it it's, it's fairly simple and I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to the next tutorial so thanks don't forget to comment and subscribe 
Don't forget to like my page on Facebook, follow on Twitter, and also sign up on my website for some source code and for the form and some additional features. So bye for now.